Hello, this is Scarver's Gadgets, and I'm making this video on how to get Internet Edge working on your iPhone 2G with your T-Mobile contract. If you paid for, um, let's say, the $20 full package of Internet um, data plan, well, here's your solution. This may work with other um, data plans, and you can't get to work on the iPhone 2G. But let me get to the point and show you how to do it. I just recently um, bought the data plan, and it wasn't working for me on my iPhone 2G. Yeah, sorry to say that I have an iPhone 2G, but I'm going to be getting a new phone sometime, but not now. But um, why I'm making this video is because. I'm just gonna make it easier for everybody else that has it, but um, because it's extremely hard to find the stuff on the internet, then get it to work. But I finally got it to work. So first thing you need to do is go on your web browser. In your URL, type in uh, blah 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 blah. I'll put it in the description so you don't have to type it down. And it's jbwebdev.com slash blog slash t-mobile dash mobile dash iphone forward slash you go there and there's this website that tells you how to do it so on edge on your blah 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 if you don't this is only, this video is only for t iphone 2g so you don't have to worry about this junk up here and it's not going to work with MMS. MMS. This is just for Edge um, data plan web service. So you don't have to read this. Do not download iBrick because it's for older versions of the iPhone and older versions of the OS. And skip, 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 skip all this. Skip Wins SCP. Okay, this is where you have to listen. Okay. So what you first have to do is download this program called iPhone Explorer. This is the best program you can ever find for the iPhone for syncing it and everything. Here, let me show you an example first. I'll go to iPhone Explorer. I'll plug my iPhone in first. But like all the other programs, like hmm, WinSCP, you have to type in passwords and all that kind of junk to get synced up with your iPhone, and it's slow. This one, you just have to have an iTunes installed at least once and have to sync and blah 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 blah. This was program, you just have to plug in your iPhone. You can transfer files and put files on. So. Okay, once you have this downloaded and installed, restart your computer, whatever you have to do. And okay, once you have all that, iPhone Explorer, I'll put that link in the description. So, first, you have to do just ignore this, just ignore this top thing up here. But what you have to do is locate private var root. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go to private var root okay so first you have to do this launch your notepad and copy this code I'll show you control C which I always do I'll make it easier for you guys copy Paste. Control V. Right click, paste. And you have to rename that full that specific text document to proxy dot pack. See if it has proxy dot pack. And there you go. Look what you have. Proxy dot pack. How is that? 
So what it's asking you to do is once you have proxy.pack done and done with with your text, you just put proxy.pack in private var root as you can see. After you have that done, um you have this file so I will download it to my desktop, so I already did that. Right now, it's prevents. You download that. But let's see. You save the file as prefences.plist. So what I will do is add plist at the end of it. Once you have it downloaded, you just right, you just tap on it and name it as plist.plist .plist at the end of prefences. And once you have that done and downloaded, you locate private var root library prefaces system configuration. But here's the catch. You don't have system configuration under right after uh, preferences. Uh, so what they're trying to tell you is just do private var preferences system configuration. Just go there. Add that preferences.plist file into here. And once that's done and uploaded to your iPhone, you will grab your iPhone, which is telling you to do, which I suggest doing right now if you're watching this video. Um, just go to your settings, general, network, um, edge. I don't know why they say edge because it really doesn't say edge. Um, once you go in there, hold on for a second. I just gotta get my iPhone up so I can tell you what it actually says. I can't think of it at the top of my head, but um, you go to network, sell your data network. Mm -hmm. So you look at your APN. That's right off under your cellular data. It says up there APN. Just type in wap dot voicestream dot com. Leave your username and password blank. That's all you have to do. Restart your iPhone, and there you go. Guess what? You got Edge. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Please suggest it to other people, and please subscribe if you want to watch any more helpful videos. I haven't made videos in a long time, so. If you have any questions, please PM me or send me an email at scalvertech at scalver.com or scalversgadgets at scalver.com.